Good afternoon. I'm Carol Chris, the Chancellor. Thank you for joining in today's Memorial Campus Service, in which we remember those from our community who have died in the past year. Faculty, staff, retirees, and students whose names we will read. I'm so glad that we can have this ceremony in person, face to face. After so many months of sheltering in place and minimizing social interaction, the times we come together to gather are weighted with grateful meaning. This is particularly true on this occasion when we remember those we've lost. There's been so much death around us in the past two years. Death from COVID, deaths from natural disaster, deaths from despair, as well as the deaths from age and disease that are part of the narrative of life. It's a temptation to become numb, but we cannot be inured to tragedy. We can't be inured to mourning. When I returned to Berkeley in 2013, right after my husband had died, this memorial was one of the first campus events I attended. It gave me comfort to mourn his death with others that had also lost people dear to them. It gave me comfort to mourn his death in the context of the university and the community that had meant so much to him. I hope this ceremony gives you those same comforts. In my academic work, I study the British Victorians who had a culture that some people say was obsessed by death. I've thought a lot about what mourning meant to the Victorians. I've come to realize it was a way of keeping the dead alive, present within us and present in our communities. It was an act of memory, of commemoration. This cer ceremony in its small way does the same kind of work. By mourning our losses together, we affirm our connectedness, not only to those we mourn, but to each other as a campus community. I want particularly to mention the 12 students who lost their lives this year to violence, to illness, to tragic accidents. These are the deaths that hit us the hardest. When a young person dies, it reverses the order of nature. We mourn not only their loss, but so much life left unlived. When I worked with Chancellor Chen in the 1990s, we lost several students in the first months of his chancellorship to a terrible fraternity fire. I still remember his telling the grieving community that we needed to carry them in our hearts, our minds, and our eyes so that they could continue to inspirit our lives. I hope we can carry all those we've lost in this way. The Berkeley students who died this year left a vivid and indelible mark on all who knew and loved them and were inspired by them. I hope that some of their families are with us today, proud that their children were students at Berkeley. We share in your terrible loss. Several of our faculty and staff also died in the prime of their lives with so much more to contribute. Their loss has left our community the poorer. Others, emeriti, faculty, and staff retirees lived long lives and made important contributions that have built Berkeley into the great university that it is today. The names of those we're remembering today appear on our memorial stand we don't include alumni in this list because we don't hear of everyone's death, but we also think of them at this time because they're also members of the Cal family. We also remember those of our community lost in previous years. Let us now take a moment of silence to honor all the departed members of the Cal community, our faculty, staff, students, researchers, alumni, friends, and family. I now invite Professor Marianne Smart, Professor of Music and Chair of the Academic Senate, to come forward and read the names of faculty, emeriti faculty, academics, and academic retirees. 
academic and faculty. Gerard Roddy Creedon, architecture. Philip Geisler, chemistry. Luis Gonzalez Ryman, South and Southeast Asian studies. Ira Stewart Jackness, Phoebe A. Hearst Museum of Anthropology. John Morgan, Haas School of Business. Robert Powell, Social Sciences and Political Science. Thomas Reynolds, Law. Lucinda Sykes, Law. Leo Simon, Agricultural and Resource Economics. Stephen Sugarman, Law. Richard Taruskin, Music. Thomas Walsh, Celtic Studies. Emeriti. Christopher Alexander, Architecture. William Anderson, Ancient Greek and Roman Studies. Haruo Aoki, East Asian Languages and Culture. Richard Manley Bailey, Public Health. Frank Beale, Environmental Science, Policy and Management. Leo Bersani, French. Clarence Chan, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Richard Crocker, Music. Jyotindra Dasgupta, Social Sciences and Political Science. Didier de Fontaine, Materials Science and Engineering. Shell Doxum, Statistics. John Dracup, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Helen Eckert, Physical Education. Paul Groth, Architecture. Robert Harris, Chemistry. Richard Herr, Letters and Science and History. Gerd Hillen, German. Teddy Hodges, School of Information. Joyce Leshoff, Public Health. William Bill Lidecker, Integrative Biology. Carl Pister, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Lynn Robertson, Social Sciences and Psychology. Rudolf Schmidt, Botany. Charles Sellers, History. George Sensaba, Public Health. Shei Wen Shen, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Andrew Streitweiser, Chemistry. Ronald Stroud, Ancient Greek and Roman Studies. Norman Terry, Plant and Microbial Biology. Praveen Varaya, Electrical Engineering and Computer Sciences. Lawrence Larry James Waldron, Rouser College of Natural Resources. Joanna Williams, History of Art and Southeast, uh, South and Southeast Asian Studies. And the postdoctoral scholar, Federica Mikucci, Ancient Greek and Roman Studies.
I'm Steve Sutton, the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs. I'll be reading the names of the staff and staff retirees. Ray Avalos, Academic Facilities. Michael Cole, Capital Strategies. Diane Hill, Graduate Division. Dan Holgate, Facility Services. James Hummer, Student Affairs. Kevin Hurley, Space Sciences Laboratory. Constance Llewellyn, Berkeley Art Museum and Pacific Film Archive. Carol Lopes Cooper, School of Education. Andrew Moore, Residential and Student Service Programs. Robert Nichols, Disabled Students Program. Gwendolyn Noakes, Extramural Funds Accounting. Masako Osada, Chemistry. Marcia Saxton, Disability Services, Disability Studies and Undergraduate and Interdisciplinary Studies. Jane Lang Scheiber, Chemistry. Dorothy Snodgrass, Law. John Stinson, Facility Services. Kurt Thyssen, Technology Learn Licensing. Kwok Tran, Facility Services. Ellen Wilson, Accounts Payable. Change, change takes time 
And when the sunset comes, my prayer would be this one. And you might pick me up and notice that I am. Just a little smoother in your hand. I'm Sunny Lee, Dean of Students, and I'll be reading the names of our graduate students. Chen Yang Cheng of Law, and Madeline Dickens of Physics.
My name is Shaka Talem. I serve as the ASUC student body president, and I'll be reading the names of our undergraduate students. Honesty Alexander, political science. Jacqueline Castro, letters and science. Luca Eleganian, chemistry. Brittany Ng, molecular and cell biology. Anthony Ontiveros, urban studies. Agodi Onyador, public health. RJ Skosipak, nuclear engineering. Devin Yakoshkin, environmental design. Christian Yasa, molecular and cell biology. Samuel Yun, letters and science.
I'd like to thank all those who have participated in today's memorial, those who've worked hard to prepare for the event, and those who help every day to make the UC Berkeley response always a compassionate one whenever one of our community passes away. Thank you for attending. <laughs>